We will also need the ability to test our HTTP applications. The SuperTest module is a popular choice for testing HTTP applications such as Express sites. Let's go ahead and navigate to our exercise files. And in Chapter 10, Lesson 8, under the Start folder, we now have our Ski Dictionary app that we built back in Chapter 8. Let's go ahead and navigate to our terminal. And the first thing that we want to do is an npm install to install the dependencies for this app. And if you would like to familiarize yourself with the app, we can actually run it, node app. And we have an express app running on port 3000, so I'm going to go to my browser window and navigate to localhost 3000. So here is our skier dictionary. This is the home page. It's an HTML page. We want to make sure that when you come to the skier dictionary home that we are able to see the home page, that that works. We also want to test our dictionary API to make sure that we are getting the dictionary terms. We also have the ability to post and delete to this API, so we want to be able to test that too. If you go out to your terminal, we want to stop the site that's currently running, and we actually started the process of stubbing some tests. So if you actually run Mocha, you can see that we have a couple of test stub. We want to make sure that we load the home page and that get request to the dictionary API are working, post request to the dictionary API are working, and delete request to the dictionary API are working. Now, if we navigate to our files, one key thing that you might want to look at is in the app.js file, we have exported the app module at the bottom of the file. So here on line 53, we are actually exporting our express app module. This is important because the super test module will be able to test our express app directly by importing it. So we need to make sure that we've exported that module. In addition to that, we also have some skier terms in here. For this app, this is the real production data. This data can change, so in order to take control of our test, we'll need to inject some skier terms. So that is what we are testing, our app.js. If you navigate to the test folder, we have an app spec.js file that I also would like us to open up. So in our app spec.js file, we already have some test stub. We have here on line seven, a test stub to make sure that we load the home page. And then we are describing the dictionary API here on line nine. Before each of the tests, we are gonna insert some fake data. So on line 13, we set up this.defs to equal term one, term one defined, term two, term two defined. So we are gonna replace the skier terms on line 24. We're gonna replace the real data with our fake data the definitions that we've defined here. This will give us some control. This means that if we do a get request for data with our application, we know that we should see two terms and these are the terms that we should actually see. So we need to actually write these tests to make sure all of this is working appropriately. And the module that we can use to do that is super test. So we wanna go back to the terminal and make sure we install super test. npm install super test, and I will save it to my dev dependencies. And now that we have super test, we can go back to our file to use it. So the first thing we need to do is require super test. So up here on line one, I'm gonna create a variable called request, and I am gonna set that equal to require super test. There we go. So my request variable is now the super test module, and the request variable is a function that we can use to make request of our HTTP application. So on line four, you can see that we've imported our app module. Let's go ahead and make sure this app loads the homepage. So in this test, I'm gonna go ahead and add the callback function where we would actually write the test. And I can make a request using super test of my app module. And this will test the app module directly. We wanna make sure that if we do a get request of the home route, we expect a 200 or successful status code. And also this is gonna be an asynchronous test. So we need to tell Mocha when it is over. With super test, we can chain on a dot in function that takes in a callback function to invoke when the test is finished. So I am simply gonna let Mocha know that this is an asynchronous test by adding done. And then inside of my end function, I will also add our done function. 
meaning that when super test is done hitting the home page and we have the results, they should be 200 successful, and then super test will invoke Mocha's done function as well. Let's go ahead and quickly write the other tests for getting, posting, and deleting from an API. So I will come down here and actually test my get route as well with pretty much the same syntax. So we want to request our app and we want to get, this time we are going to get the dictionary API route. And with the dictionary API route, we expect a 200 successful response. And when this is over, we can also invoke our done function. Do not forget to add the done function to your Mocha test callback. And that would make sure that we can do a get request of that route. Let's go ahead and also make a post request. So I'm gonna add my callback. I'm making sure that I'm taking in that done function. And now I'm going to request app this time, as opposed to making a get request, I'm gonna make a post request with super test. And we're gonna make a post request to the dictionary API route. And when we make this request, we're also gonna send some post data. So I'm gonna send a new term. So I'm gonna go ahead and create an object literal. And this literal, we will define the term three. So we'll send a new fake term and we will define defined as term three defined. There we go. And just so this doesn't get to be one really long, crazy line, we can actually keep these chains appearing on separate lines. So we can request the app, post to the dictionary API, send that data, and then we also at this point expect a 200 successful response. And we also want to add an end and we will invoke the done function. So that is a way that we can test our dictionary API post route. The last test that we are gonna write with super test is a test for the delete route. So I will add a function here and make sure we take in a done variable. And now we are gonna go ahead and request our app this time we will make a delete request of the dictionary API slash one. So we have a fake term up here that we are using for our fake data defined on line 19 as term one. So we're gonna try to delete that term by making a delete request to dictionary API slash one. And when we make this request, we also expect a 200 or successful response and when that is over, we also want to invoke Mocha's done function. So here we are testing four HTTP endpoints. We are testing the get request for dictionary API, the post request for dictionary API, and the delete request for dictionary API. And furthermore, we are also testing the get request for the home page here on line eight. So let's go back to our terminal and run our test. I will go ahead and clear the console and I'm going to run Mocha, and now we can see that all of these tests pass. In fact, as the tests are occurring, we can also see our custom logger working, logging the fact that we've made two get requests, a post request, and a delete request. So you can use super test to test your HTTP endpoints, whether we are returning HTML pages or JSON API data.